Hello everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I want to show you um, some coloring that I do with my Copics on watercolor paper using a gorgeous stamp by Stamping Bella. I had so much fun coloring it. So this is the stamp that I'm going to be using and um, it's a rubber stamp which means it's a little bit thicker than your um, than your regular... Um, uh, uh, I forgot... The, uh, see-through stamps, I forgot the name of that, <laughs> but you can still use them in um, the Misty stamping press and probably in most other stamping presses that are out there. I've seen that there are quite a few available now. And I'm using my favorite things, um, Licorice Hybrid Ink, because that works well with all the coloring mediums that I use. Now, um, in the past, I've received some comments about using Copics on watercolor paper. Um, a few people have reported that they have had bad experiences doing this um, and that they feel that they have damaged their markers by using them on watercolor paper. Now, I have been doing this technique for like three years now, and I haven't had any problems with my markers. So please use this um, technique at your own discretion. Um, somebody said that they had problems with the watercolor paper coming apart and clogging up the tip of their marker. Um, I'm using... Um, pretty expensive watercolor paper, usually like artist grade watercolor paper, um, because I also want to learn more about watercoloring. So um, the paper that I'm using, like it doesn't come apart that easily. Um, it's pretty thick, uh, pretty sturdy and heavy. And also I'm not, um, like even though I'm dragging my marker tip uh, across the, the larger areas to color them in easier. I'm not pressing down hard. I'm not going over the same er areas like 10 times, um, uh, you know, so that they're super wet and then the paper comes apart. So um, the reason I'm doing this is because the markers blend nicely on watercolor paper and I just like the effect. Um, but you can see here that I'm not going over the same areas like um, 10, 15 times or something um, to make the paper come apart. So if, it, like, if you're if you are hesitant, like, don't use the technique. Um, I can just recommend, like, just you know, use common sense, use a good watercolor paper that doesn't come apart easily. Um, and as I said, I didn't have any problems using this technique at all in you know all the years that I've done it. Um, and I really like the effect, like especially here you can see how nicely everything blends together. And what I like to do is the col the Copics are basically just my base color. They are like the basic highlights and the basic shadows. And then I like to go back in with my polychromos pencils or if you have Prismacolor pencils or any other types of pencils, they will work as well. And then you can enhance some of the details um, because that won't work on watercolor paper because of course the colors will run. Um, or feather, so to speak. I'm using some uh, some dyes here to uh, uh, cut apart this piece because what I actually want to do is I want to mount it onto a nice background. And I'm using the stencil here from my favorite things, which is just so <laughs> nice to create um, uh, the the cloud background. Um, and I've mounted my uh, like the coloration. I've mounted it on top of that background and then stamped my sentiment. And then to finish it off, I'm just using some Nouveau Drops and uh, enhancing the decoration of the cake. And the nice thing is that these dry um, like with a dimension, so when they dry they're not completely flat. And uh, these are also, I think, the drops that uh, have this nice sheen to them, so a light metallic sheen. So it really looks lovely um, at in the very end when everything is done and ready using some gold drops here to enhance the cake a little bit. It's just the little details. I mean, you could leave it white as well, but I just enjoy doing it this way. Um, you can he see here the nice um, stitch detail that the dies added. Um, and I always like to stamp my sentiments with the with a stamp press because usually I don't get it right the first time. I need to double stamp to get a nice uh, solid black impression and here you can see the nice dimension that we added with the Nouveau drops. So I hope you got inspired um, and maybe you'll give this technique a try. I can recommend the stamps by Stamping Bella because they're just so gorgeous and cute and so much fun to color in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye!